Gentlemen, welcome back to Chrono Commentary. I'm your host, Brent Garcia. Uh, the watch we're talking about today is so manly that I had to come outside to talk to you about it and smoke a cigar. We're going to talk about the Sunto Core. It's a big watch. It's a 49mm dial. Uh, there's a ton going on. They call it the wrist top computer, uh, and I'll show you why it does everything. It's the Swiss Army knife of watches. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so here's the box it comes in. A um, little clear top action. Pulls apart this way. Um, warranty card information. And then the fun stuff, which is quick guide. Quick guide. Warranty. And then a book, a user guide that looks about like something you would get with a very complicated digital camera or a laptop or something along those lines. It's a ton of information. I'm going to actually walk you through uh, how to do all of the features um, so that you don't have to read it if you decide to buy one. So uh, here we go. Okay, so um, forgive the glare, but we're going to kind of just, I'll just talk about basic functionality first. Uh, here's your barometric readout. You can lock the watch buttons because it is a big watch and it hits your wrist. If you hold down bottom right hand button, and you'll see a little lock icon pop up right there. This also activates your activates your backlight. Um, this bottom left button scrolls through additional features on each on each face. There's three different function main functions of the watch. Um, right now we're on time. This is a stopwatch which you can start and stop right up here you see there's a little three bar indicator right up top here that's lets you know that those buttons are now active for different things notice the one came up here when I stopped it hold that down and that'll clear it and then this will scroll through different functionality so there's stopwatch there is uh, dual time zone zero nothing we got uh, calendar which is not 2010, I need to reset that. Uh, seconds. Uh, alarm clock. The sunrise, sunset, which can be set regionally, and I'll show you how to do that. And then back to stopwatch. This main button here in the middle on your right, out of the three, lets you switch between the time, the altimeter and barometer. You can see that the uh, highlighted region moves and then the compass. So each one of these different main function settings has different options down below. So that one has the temperature, uh, the log, which you can log your ascent and descent. You can also log uh, uh, dive depth, which is pretty cool. And then uh, your reference, which is your reference point. So if you're going hiking and you like drive somewhere, you have to reset your reference to your start point, otherwise it, it doesn't track it very accurately. Um, time, and then in compass mode, the options that you have are bearing indicator, which you just set by using this. And you can see that now it's telling us if we're on track or not. Um, I'll give you the time and then give you what direction you're actually facing. So I'm facing north, 351 degrees north at this time. And then back to that. So that's kind of the basic rundown of, of the, the essential modes. And I'll, and I'll get into actually how you change things and move things around. Well, we had to move the party inside because it was getting a little bit dark, but I'm gonna show you really quickly um, the, the back of house where you make all your changes, you just hold down your middle um, main button and then you'll see the memory which is where you store your logs, <clears throat> the time and date where you can set uh, your alarm, your uh, countdown, various countdown functions, your time, the dual time, the date, the bottom left hand button lets you go back, sunrise, um, Mentioned this earlier, location USA, region is mountain. The nearest city to me is Albuquerque, and there's a pretty good um, representation of, of what's available here. 
Altimeter and barometer, this is where you can change your reference point as far as your altitude and your um, the profile allows you to change your um, where when you click to altimeter or barometer, this lets you pick which profile you want. Altimeter, barometer, depth meter, or automatic. The automatic function is good if you're out and about, like in the mountains or whatever. Um, it allows you to, when you're moving, it tracks your altitude, and when you're stationary, it, it uh, switches to barometer. Here's your storm alarm. When your barometric pressure drops, this will go off. Um, mine goes off all the time, and I, I don't necessarily always have a storm coming, but whatever, what can you do? And then your compass settings as well. And we'll get into the declination, uh, the declination here in a little bit when I do part two of this video. General, there's your button tones, things like that, backlight, um, whether it's any button or just the backlight button, which is your bottom right hand button. Um, language, and then units, metric or not metric. Temperature, air pressure, things like that. Okay, so that's the general gist as far as functionality goes on the watch. A um, couple quick other side notes. Primarily constructed of hardened plastic or resin or whatever it is. Um, the band is interchangeable. They make, for this model, they make, I know they make like an orange rubber strap. They make a brown leather. I think they make a stainless steel as well that you can change out. Um, all of the lug configuration, is all it's all screw-in. So this is something you could do yourself if you wanted a different strap on these. Um, one of the coolest things that I found on this is that the is that the stay, the strap stay on here, is actually, it's got a rivet in it, if you can see that. So if you have little wrists like me, that thing fits on, it locks it in so it doesn't slide around on the bracelet, which is really cool. Uh, the battery is exposed, so you can take a quarter or a pocket knife and actually change the battery on your own in the field, which if you if it's a piece that you're a piece of equipment that you're relying on, um, I'd recommend you keep one in your pack or in your um, or in your car or whatever. Uh, the compass, the backlight, some of those types of features do take quite a bit of battery power. The bezel is rotatable. It's just a little bit, I mean, it's a little tough to do. I mean, you got to get a real good grip on it. But it, it does work. It's functional. And um, when I talk a little bit more about the compass features, we'll talk about how to use the bezel on that as well. Um... But yeah, all in all, it's a really cool watch. It's water resistant up to 30 meters, which is 100 feet. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned in part two, we'll get into more of the functionality and how to set all these things and so all these features work properly for you. Um, so yeah, see you guys next time. Also, don't forget to check out the blog. It's uh, chrono-commentary.blogspot.com. Uh, I've got links to a bunch of these watches. I've got more reviews and more to come. And I've also got some really cool specialty watches that I'll be featuring and talking about. So get on the email list so you know, so you know when those are going to happen. And uh, thanks. We'll talk to you guys soon.